All right, session recap with an elite player. Uh, this college player uh, plays at TCU, and uh, he came in complaining of high heel face contact and overdraws. So let's start with the video on the left. This is the before. This is uh, draw intent, normal intent. And what we're going to notice is that everything on the backswing is fine. Like there's really no reason if you look at this position why there would necessarily be uh, any draws. Um, you can see he's above the plane. Now, as you're going to see as we play the video down, what happens is the upper mass starts kind of falling to the right. The body gets a little bit closed. You can see the upper shoulders, not the upper shoulders, the shoulders are kind of pointed out to the right a little bit too much. And the club just starts to get really underneath the plane. So if you think about how the club's going to have to get to the ball, it's going to have to swing way to the right to get to this red line. And so we have kind of kind of flip hooks. The swing direction on this swing was about 10 right. You can see if we were to kind of draw kind of a circle from hip to hip. We'll just do that real fast. So there's a, the club was here and then it's here. We'll keep going. And what you're going to see is that that circle that I'm drawing, those little circles kind of add up to a a connected circle that would be very, very much the right. And so the likelihood of what's going to happen is that will be a block, a good shot, or an overdraw. Um, and then the heel, you may ask, well, where does the heel come from? Generally speaking, when someone swings that far right, they would generally heel it. But then also, if you look at his head, relative to the box, it's not only moving towards the ball uh, this way, but it's also moving down. So those two things are going to create a lack of space. But if you look at his arms here, they're very, very close to his body. You could argue he really can't bend his right arm anymore. So that's just strictly a spacing issue. And you can see as he goes through the follow through, it kind of goes down even more. And then lastly, identifying that um, his club was kind of exiting, I mean, almost through his shoulder there. So pretty high. So in this video on the right, Let's first notice that, you know, I've kind of set up a station here. We've got the head cover uh, that's going to serve as a reminder about the path. You know, and then we have this alignment stick here, um, which is going to help encourage the club to exit a little bit more left. So let's go this swing, through the swing. The only thing that I really told him on the backswing was to make sure that he's moving into his trail side a little bit more so that he will shift a little bit more into his lead side on the downswing. Um, let's go ahead and play out the downswing. So already we can see that this is much more um, on top of the plane versus if we go over here on that same position. You can see that that is definitely a little bit more under and that is going to cause um, a little bit more of the draw. So as he comes through, I mean, definitely this swing direction is much more neutral. I think this was close to zero. And you can see the exit there on the follow through is much more on that red line. So if we were to compare to this one, we can see that it's much, much higher and also moving to the right. Another thing to note here is when the club exits, you can see the club head is right on that uh, rib cage, which is kind of what we talked about. Now, let's take a look at the head. The head is still tipping towards the golf ball, but it's not tipping near as much down. So we kind of got rid of some of the high face contact. You can see actually right there, if I zoom in, you can see that's pretty center and a little bit lower on the face. We definitely prioritize that. And so, so one, if you're someone who hooks it, the pieces of the swing that I'd be looking at is on the downswing. You know, where is the club? Unfortunately, this isn't in slow-mo. Had we kept going, this would have been right on the hands. And then kind of where is my exit? My exit really shouldn't be um, that far um, above my rib cage. Like if your club is exiting somewhere up here, then likely you're going to be hooking it. Um, and then two, what kind of station can you set up to hit in that's going to encourage the ball flight that you want? You can see here uh, that we have this, this station that is likely going to produce a much straighter golf shot. So this, this station plus his intent of, you know, getting the chest more to the target, right knee to left knee, plus just trying to finish a little bit more low left, definitely delivered the club in a different way. Uh, and then to the point that, you know, we started to see some straight to even overcuts, which is kind of what we wanted. So I'd encourage you to not only have an intent, but to also um, have a station that encourages that intent. And uh, thanks for watching.